This is Miss Youngquist with Jasper Active Microsoft Word 2016 Core. Lesson 8, Learn Activity 3, Inserting Citation Sources. All right, so in this activity, we're going to add two citations to the document and then generate a bibliography at the end of the report. Okay, so our first step, we're going to insert a reference placeholder with the Tolano Employee Handbook footnotes file displayed. Go to page 8 and press enter at the end of the paragraph below the sick days heading. So go down to page 8 and then there's sick days right there. Alright, so the end of the paragraph you're going to hit enter. Assume you know a citation is required here, but you still need to find all of the information. In this instance, you're just going to insert a placeholder as a reminder to add the information later. So click up on the References tab, and then in the Citations and Bibliography group, click Insert Citation, and then click on Add New Placeholder. Alright, so right now it says Placeholder 1. Type standards as the name of the placeholder, and then click OK. All right, so now you have those parentheses with the word standards in there. Mark as answered, go to step two. So now we're going to go to the next page and click on the blank line below the paragraph of text for life insurance. So there's life insurance at the bottom. We'll click all the way down underneath that text. In the Citations and Bibliography group, click Insert Citation and then Add New Source. You're going to get this pop-up and you're going to enter the information shown as the following. So you're going to need to open up this little pop-up right here. And you can see the type of source is an interview. And the interviewee is Man Manulife Make sure you spell it right, comma, Sun Life, comma, and City Financial. Do pay attention to your capitalization here. All right, under Titles, it's going to be Employee Benefits Plan. And then your interviewer is Jeff Chow. The year is 2012 and September. And the day is going to be 20. Alright, when you're done you're going to click OK and you'll notice that, and you can close this box as well, you'll notice that the citation now shows Manulife 2012 as the main text. So you want the financial services to be listed as well. Go ahead and click Mark as Red and go to step 3. So now in the Citations and Bibliography group, click Manage Sources. And you're going to get this pop up. So click the Manulife, Sunlife entry in the current list box, not in the master list box. So you'll notice on the left is the master list box, on the right is the current list box. So we want to click on the one in the current list box. And then we're going to click on the Edit button. Click edit at the right of the interviewee field. Okay, so the interview interviewee field is Manual Life, Sun Life, and City Financial. So we'll click that edit button. And now we're going to click on delete to remove the existing entry. And in the last field, we're going to type Manual Life and then click add. All right, re repeat step four to add Sun Life. So we'll type it in our la in the last field, click Add. And then also to add City Financial, click Add. And then we're going to add an additional entry, which is Royal Bank, and Add. And then we're going to click OK twice. So OK once here and OK once here. And we're going to get a little pop-up that says the source exists in your master list and current document. Do you want to update both with these changes? We do, so we will click yes. And then we will click close. 
So now you will see that our citation down here has all of the authors or all of the interviewees um, listed. So you're going to mark as answered and go to step four. So now you're going to move to the end of the document. And in the blank line before the end note, insert a page break. Okay, so here's our end note. We're going to click in that blank line right there and insert a page break by hitting or pressing control and hitting enter. Okay, at the top of the last page, type appendix for the title and press enter. And then you're going to apply a heading one style. So select that text, go to the home tab and then find heading one. All right, in the blank line between the appendix title and the end note, so let's scroll down so you can see the whole page. Um, you are going to type end notes and then apply a heading to style here. So select that tag or select that text and then go to heading two. There we go. Mark as answered and go to insert a bibliography. So now move the cursor to the beginning of the end notes heading. and click the References tab. In the Citations and Bibliography group, click Bibliography, and then click the Bibliography option in the drop-down list. So notice that Word automatically inserts the citations for you. In this case, um, there's only one shown as you inserted only a placeholder versus entering the source information for the second citation. All right, so mark as enter or answered and then show results.